Hi, I'm Jennifer Dick, and today we are going to talk about how to make the C, D, and E units for the roundabout quilt. If you are making this quilt, you will quickly realize that the C, D, E unit is the most pivotal unit for the success of this block. Um, if you do it right and um, go slow and pay attention, you should have no trouble getting these points sharp and crisp in the sewn block. Okay, so this is the CDE unit finished. Let's talk about how to do this. All right, first of all, you need to gather your tools. Very simply, all you need are your Everyday Curve template set, a rotary cutter and some pins, and a regular acrylic ruler. I like this eight and a half inch by 12 and a half inch. It's just a good multi-purpose size. You also need some way to mark a quarter inch for your seam allowance. This is a small vinyl quarter inch wide strip that comes with your Everyday Curve template set. I have this on my the bed of my sewing machine and it helps me line up. This is just a loose one I have that I can use today for demonstration purposes. Okay, so first of all, we need to cut our CDE rectangles as instructed in the pattern. So you have your three rectangles. Um, they're all different widths, but they're all the same height as you can see. All right, the E will come in last, so we'll set that aside for now. So let's cut the curve on the, the C unit, which is your half moon, and your D unit, which is the other half of the curve piece that we'll use the background piece B template to cut. All right, so for the half moon unit, you want to fold it in half, wrong sides together, and you're gonna use your A curve piece. So for this one, you need to line it up on this right-hand side. If you're looking at it like this, this is the right-hand side uh, center line, and you line it up along the bottom of the fold line and with that edge then you just simply make that cut. Okay, there is your half moon unit right there. Okay, for the uh, D unit, you want to, since we folded this wrong sides together, you wanna fold this right sides together and that will help with registration. We'll talk about that in a second. All right, so line that up, finger press on the fold, and you take your D um, background template. And again, you're gonna use that right hand side um, center line. And up here, you're going to line it up with the 10 inch line on that point up in that upper right hand corner and then along the bottom there. And hold it firmly and make the cut. Okay, so now we have our two pieces cut and ready to go. And if you folded, like I just said, you can see you've got your registration marks all ready to go. You just line up the two pieces on that notch with your D piece on top and then pin. Okay. So now we have to pin these edges. Um, this is honestly the most important part of this whole quilt. To get this right, you need to pin it, sew it, and trim it accurately if you want those sharp, crisp points. So how we do this is with whatever you want to use. If you have the, the vinyl strip that came with the template sets or tiger tape, any, anything that's a quarter inch wide, you can even use your acrylic ruler. You um, line up your, um, your quarter inch guide with the edge of your fabric, and then you lay the top piece on there. Now, what we're doing is you're marking your quarter inch seam allowance. So you can see that V right there intersects with the quarter inch guide and both pieces of fabric. You can see that V. 
So hopefully you can, you're pretty far away there. Anyhow, pin, and now you have your perfect quarter inch. Seam allowance, okay, same thing with this. If you're sitting at your machine, there's no need to pin this end. You just line it up on your vinyl and you line up the top one and you can see again, it all lines up a quarter inch in that V. And then you can just take this to your machine and start sewing. I'm going to pin it now just because we're gonna pretend sew. So I need it on there securely. Okay, so now second part that's important for accuracy is when you start sewing, you want to make sure your seam line is right in that V. And that is your quarter inch. So you start in there, take a few stitches, needle down, stop, um, reposition your fabric as necessary and just go in short little bursts to get that curve. When you get to the center, take out your pin and keep going around, um, fussing with it with your fingers as necessary to get that fabric to, to go right, to, to make that curve. Okay, and then again, when you get to the end, make sure that your seam goes off in, exactly in that V. That ensures a totally accurate quarter inch seam allowance. Okay, so when you have that pretend sew, you real sew, I pretend sewed, you have your, um, your C and D piece sewn. So you're going to press it either towards the C or towards the D. It depends on which block you're, you're working on. So make sure you check that out in the pattern so you know which way to go. All right, so now we have to trim this to three and a half inches wide. And again, to get these points when they join with the other block perfectly crisp, you need to trim this at one eighth of an inch. Um, that is not a normal quilting measurement. So pay attention the first few ones till you get your muscle memory going and you just line up right there on the seam allowance with that eight inch, eighth inch mark at the top and the bottom. It's very narrow but when you go to join the blocks together, it will be very apparent to you why it's an eighth of an inch. Um, and I can tell you it's because the seam allowance is a quarter inch down, and so that'll be a quarter inch in. So even though it's very narrow at the end, it will be a quarter inch and those lines will cross over and you will have a perfect point. Okay, so you've cut it an eighth of an inch on that side. Now you flip it over and you trim three and a half inches to make your right size for your block. Okay, so there's the C and D unit sewn, perfectly trimmed. Now you will sew your E unit to this. And I have one done here. And press these to the D unit. So you're pressing in to the center there. Okay, there you go. That is how to make the CDE unit for the roundabout, roundabout, <laughs> it's easy for me to say, for the roundabout quilt. Um, I hope that this helps you. Just go slow, pay attention, and uh, do the first few uh, very, um, with a lot of um, paying attention and you will get the hang of it and you before long will have perfectly crisp points. Thank you very much. If you like what you've seen, please hit subscribe. Bye.